Brian. Yeah. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Super wins a great day, safe day. Get that channel, folks, TFNN, on, in your pocket. I love that uh, little promo there. Replace fear with love. Be impeccable with your word. The human mind is like a, f a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you are impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. You either live in love or live in fear, folks. Get rid of the fear. Guess what? You open the door, you look at the fear, say, bye-bye, see you later, alligator. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials off 194, NASDAQ down 236, S&P's off 40. Gold, gold contract down $30.60, trading at 2,516 an ounce. We have silver down 60 cents, $29.36 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 93 cents, $72.86 a barrel, notes and bonds, a 10-year note. Down 18 ticks, trading 113.10, a 30 year off a full point, plus 10 ticks at 124.02, and King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading up 474 ticks at 101.512, euros 111, yen is 146, and a British pound is 130 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? And the world of the NDX. Let's go take a look at it. Once, here we go. And the NQ. Okay, so we went from positive to negative today. That takes the markets turning, and this is the beginning of the turn. So, what we have here is this. You got the NQs. Make sure you got the NQs. Yeah, we're good. You're down 259. Now, the, the last bar that we just, not the, the, the bar that we're on, you know, bottom line, try to pop again, but the bar prior to this, 10 minutes prior to this, we still have a high volume low that's laying out here at uh, 604, 19,604, and we're at 19,647. So, it's going to get a little dicey in here, uh, because the biggest volume down actually was down at uh, 672, and we're at 645. We go to the Qs now. Well, actually, let, let, so let's look at the NDX 100 here. So when you look at the NDX, the Qs, what you have is that you went to a higher high, you gave it up in spades, you were still coming into, you were coming into 56,000, uh, 56 million shares. We only did done 27. Now, what's also happening is that we do have an expansion because the market has given it up. So the real question is going to be. You know, do we get follow through here? My take is that we are going to get follow through. And this is wild how it's setting up with Jerome Powell. <sighs> Powell, rather. Uh, tomorrow, at 10, 10 a.m. Now, what does happen, folks, is that, uh, as Tommy was saying prior to this, when he was just on, prior to me coming on, is that approximately at 9.30, they will release what he's saying. So you're going to have that, number one. And we'll see what the market does with it. You know, don't forget about our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento. It's going to be a great time to get in with live trading. He's going to be trading line 9 to 12. And there's, there's going to be volatility. <laughs> That's for sure. So if we take a look at the SPY, we can see the SPY is set up differently, man. You know, the SPY probably still wants the high. The high in the SPY is 5, well, I don't know. We hit 563. 565 is the high. That could be it. And now you talk about a straight line move, right? I mean, we went straight straight uh, straight up from the 5th of August. Straight up. No doubt. We go look at the uh, gold contract, GCA. So we have with gold contract, you're pulling back with light volume. That's what you want if you're a bull in the gold market. You got 162,000 contracts. 165 right now. You're coming into 200 and something. Oh, let's see what we're coming into. Yeah. Yeah, we're coming into 224. So that's, that's what you do like to do. Now, the scary part about the gold contract right now is that we have had five.
five failures. One, two, three, four. Four failures up at these highs. So you got to keep your eye on this beyond belief because if you do fail, you'll go right back down to the other side of this consolidation. And, you know, the last time we didn't make it all the way down, which is saying it's strong, okay, that's, that's how that says. The, the bottom of the consolidation is uh, 2350, where when we came down, we only came down to 2398. So it was better, that's for sure. We go to the dollar index, we take a look at the dollar index. That's getting a pop today by 458 ticks, you know. But this has been one straight line move down, no doubt for the dollar. What is intriguing, let's go to the note and bond market. So we know we get Powell tomorrow talking. The note and bond market is like out here today, you get 3.1 million contracts. Now that's a lot of contract volume, right? Yeah, that's right. One second. Let's look. Oh, this is going to be close, man. This is wild. Yeah, we're going down with volume, man. So that means that the 10 might test this 112.16. That'd be wild, man. Now, what would Powell say that would make it do that? But we're, we're going down with... Well, we have this. We definitely got an expansion of volume on the way down. They're not killing the price, but 17 ticks is still, you know, for the environment that we've been in right now, that's a lot of ticks inside of the 10-year. Now, granted, when we went topside, we went topside with 4.2 million. So we definitely went up, and we went up with some major volume. There's no two ways about that. We go look inside the NDX, the strength versus the weakness out here. Moderna is down 5.5%. You have uh, Intel down 5%. Tesla's down 4.5%. Booking.com's at up nine tenths of one percent. Gilead's up eight tenths. Okay, so you can see inside of the NDX 100, the stocks that are up are up fractionally. The stocks that are down are down four and a five percent. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. The way the Dow Industrials are set up right now, putting juice into the Dow. American Express is the strongest. That's 13 positive points. J.P. Morgan 11 taken away from it. Microsoft minus 55. Amgen, minus uh, 34. United Health, minus 26. So right there, folks, come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now is trading down 180. Nasdaq's off 244. S&P's off 41. We'll come right back, folks.